Hi all and welcome back to my channel. That's me again, your NSC in the place to be. Yeah, last time I have to show you that I had some problems with some case here, some buttons. And today I just want to show you a great thing, how you can repair this stuff. You can use this also if your, let's say, PlayStation 3 controller is not working anymore. If your PlayStation 4 controller is uh, not working anymore. Um, you can do that also for remote controllers on, we can say, the TV and um, yeah, uh, some other remote controls, it doesn't matter. Uh, some buttons, maybe other from your calculator <laughs> or whatever, if you have problems um, with your contacts. So if you are pressing the buttons and it's not working, then this could be, we can say, the problem. Um, I got here now, let's say, a PlayStation 4 controller, like you can see. Um, when you are pressing a lot of times and this is not working and you need to press it very hard, then you can fix this uh, with the stuff that I'm going to show you right now. Um, like you can see here, I have also here had some problems with, we can say, a hit gun. It was not able, or I can say, uh, I was not able to, we can say, uh, activate the contacts because... Yeah, the problem was that the buttons here, they just lose the, we can say, special paint. Um, over these buttons here, you got, I don't know how it calls in English, but something like, an, um, we can say, a transferring paint that will activate the contacts. And on this rubber here, it's a special thing, it's, uh, we can say, a special contact that uh, is painted over there. And with the time, this gets just loose and... Uh, as while it was pressing a lot of times, let's say about three or four or five years, this paint, this extra, or we can say a special uh, paint, will just get loose with the time and then the contacts will not work anymore. Um, yeah, for this special thing, I have now just searched around and I have really finally found something great that I just want to share with you guys. Um, the first thing is this stuff here. Um, let me just go back here. So this here we can say is uh, this paint that I was talking about. Okay, so here you got a small brush and you got here the small, uh, we can say the special paint which uh, you will be able, we can say, to add over your contacts. You can see here you got, we can say, the remote PCB which is the platine and here you got your rubber which are the contacts. And you got this same rubber here. You will also have, we can say, on your PlayStation 3 gamepad or, or let's say on your PlayStation 4 gamepad. Or, like I told, on, we can say, this seat gun that I had here on this video. So on this video I have just talked some other buttons here. But if you want, we can say, to repair this, uh, we can say really cheap, um, you can go for this stuff here. This is really great. So here... You can just clean it away and then you can just paint some new contacts over there like you can see okay so this one here will add again the special we can say um, contact I think it's something like carbon or I don't know how it calls in, in, in English this is just my problem but you can just paint this over there uh, here you can see that um, also here remote control repair kit restore conductive rubber and this will fix really a lot of stuff, not only some uh, remote controls, you can fix that, uh, you can fix with that also PlayStation 3 buttons or PlayStation 4 buttons. Um, when you see you are pressing just like a monkey and this is not working and you need really to press it very, very hard, then now you know how you can fix this. And um, yeah, it was great that I have just repaired my heat gun. Because now I was just searching around and finally I found this great stuff. I'm going to just post you this later also on this video. I'm going to post you this link here. I'm going to copy it right now. And later um, I'm going to just, we can say, copy that to this YouTube video. Um, the other thing is also you can uh, search around and then you can find also some, some smaller rubber. Um, or we can say some smaller rubbers and contacts where you will be able to glue it over the old contact but this maybe sometimes will not work because if you just glue something over there 
it can be that it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You know what I mean? So that's why you need to take care. But this is also a great choice. So these buttons are already, we can say, with this newer contact paint. paint, uh, paint. <laughs> and uh, this really will help you guys. So you can also go for these ones here. If you want just uh, yeah to glue it over there, then you can do it also like here. But yeah, like I told, I'm going to post you these two links here. And then you now, yeah, will know how to repair this because look, this is costs nothing, you know, five euros plus shipment. Let's say, yeah, let's say ten euros. This is nothing, you know. So you can repair just with this great stuff. You can repair a lot of uh, things. And uh, like I told, if your if your PlayStation Three or PlayStation Four control is not working that great, then you can just paint some new contacts on the rubber. You need to open. Uh, your remote control or your gamepad or whatever and then you just paint it over there you let it dry for about one hour maybe two or three i don't know and then it just close back all together and this will work just like new guys okay so this was now just that you guys can see uh, i prefer to use this paint here because um yeah it's really great and you just need to paint it over there just let it dry and you are good to go with that stuff. That's really great, guys. Okay, so, yeah. I'm gonna, like I told, post you um, this link here on this video because this was, for me, a very great thing to know that. Um, otherwise, if I had not repaired my heat gun, I would not begin to search <laughs> uh, this stuff. And now, finally, I found a great thing. Uh, it's like I told on the video, the we can say the special paint on these buttons or we can say on this case from my heat gun, they was just destroyed. They was just, we can say, yeah, just not anymore there. And um, here it's this video, like I told you, I had here just talk from another stuff. I have just talked you some great buttons for me, but now I have just search around and I have found some great things. And uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys because this will really help a lot and uh, it will have helped really a lot of people. And this is for me, we can say, yeah, more important as all other rest, because a lot of people just throw it away because they think this is just broken, but it's not. It's just a problem of this special paint on, we can say, the rubber contacts. Okay, guys, but like I told, I have repaired it myself with some other methods. It's still working, of course. Um, and... Uh, this how or like let's say this like i have done here will of course hold longer because this yeah has no more paint or whatever these are not just metal or we can say cooper contacts that will we can say of course hold way longer as we can say some any paint but uh, you can go for the paint because the paint will still hold about some years and it's better than nothing guys and you pay nothing for that this is really so cheap and um, yeah, it's great. I hope you like this. So for now, this was just a quick video for you guys. And um, yeah, I hope you will like it. If you have some questions about that, just let me know. Um, yeah, for me, the video now is finished. I wish you all the best. And like I told, if you have some questions, just write me that on my video. And I'm going to try to answer you. I'm going to try to help you. And like I told, don't forget, you can use this for a lot of contacts, for calculators, for, uh, yeah, uh, let's say all that is working like that. You can, you can do that really for maybe the next gen PlayStation 5 controllers. <laughs> you, you never know. You never know how uh, they're going to be uh, made. But I think we can say the procedure, um, the technique will still always yeah, stay the same. So... It's for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, or maybe also for the newest PlayStation 5 controllers, for the Xbox One, or whatever. You can use that stuff for really all. And um, the most important is that you're going to notice when you need to press it harder and harder, with the time you're going to notice that the buttons are just not working. And then it's time for you to add just some new special paint, because this paint will, we can say, activate you the contact on the motherboard, we can say on the PCV from your remote controller or from your, from your gamepad or whatever. And um, yeah, guys, this is really, this is nothing. Look, this is just uh, 10 euros and here, uh, uh, 
it's nothing. It's more worth <laughs> as to buy a new stuff because when you need to buy a new controller or we can say a new heat gun, just like on my video, this will be way expensive as just to buy this great paint for your buttons. This is really great, guys. So I hope you like this. Uh, wish you all the best. I just wanted to share this with you guys. And yeah, I hope I will help a lot with this video. See ya soon. That was me, NLC in the place to be. Bye bye.